Okay, so 29 Dover Drive. That's the front aspect. And if you needed extra parking spaces, this stonework will here will accommodate two cars. Park on the stone there, and a couple of parking spaces in front of the garage. And the boundary to next door is basically where the post is. So, the majority of this stonework here you could park on there as well if you want. So we have a remote control carriage door, show you that working, apologies for the state of the garage, I guess it's like everybody else's, and then there's a door in the back to get into the utility, I'll close that. Let's give you another view of the front. So what you have is to the left, the left window is the downstairs of the dining room and the studies to the right. So we'll go in to the house. Okay, so into the hallway is the stairs, and to the left here is the dining room. I'll just show you that. So we have a six seater table and chairs. So you can see there's ample room in here. We don't use a great deal of it, and we've also got a piano set up in here. I'll just take you through. So we have the living room in front. I'll come back around to that in a second. So this is the kitchen. So we have quite a bit of workspace. Plenty of storage space as well. So I'll just gently go around. So you can see it. Okay. So it's a gas hob and the electric oven. And then that goes back round. Breakfast bar, a couple of chairs, quite handy. I'll just show you through the door here. So this is utility. So we just have the washing machine and an extra sink in here. We'll see how it looks out onto the garden. And then we have door back into the garage, as we saw from outside. I'll go back through. So we have a downstairs toilet just here. That's recently been done, quite modern. And then we have study here, which is quite a good size. We have quite a few cupboards in here, as you can see. We have used this previously as a dining room, so it's big enough to do that. A bit closer to the kitchen. So under stairs, a bit of storage space, and then into the living room okay so we have a quite a good size okay so we've got a three seater settee here i'll just show you from the doors so you can see 
good size rectangular room and then double doors right onto some decking so open those okay so we just got a table and chair set up on here at the moment Seti. The reason for that is because we've got a covered roof area. I'll show you that in a minute. In fact, there we are just going down now. There's a bit of a storage area down the side. We just turn that into a room when we need it. So garden wise. sidebar here, a planted area here, and then we've got stonework, ground to show you. It's got a nice little shaded area in the corner, which becomes sunny in the evening. Okay, so that's the shutters down at the moment. We'll come back through. see the rear aspect. We're not really overlooked. Some trees here, house in the background behind, but we don't uh, we don't have access over to the garden. So then we have a gate to go back out to the outside as we saw from the front and then back into utility down there okay go back through so we can go upstairs okay have a quick view the quick glance of the study and I'll then go upstairs so we have I'll go to the smallest room first So we've just taken a double bed out of here to turn it into a temporary study that overlooks onto the garden. Okay, so at the moment we've just got a desk in here, albeit that's a, give you an idea, that's a 1.5 metre desk, so a double bed fits in there comfortably. It's not the biggest of rooms, but there's a room for double wardrobe. And then we have Quite a nice landing, decent size. I'll just reverse back. Okay, we have the bathroom. Not that old, a couple of years old. Modern toilet again. And Let's see, shower screen, that just hinges back out of the way. Shower over the bath, basically. We'll move on. So this is sort of bedroom three. We have double bed in there at the moment with quite a few sets of drawers. Dressing table. TV. This overlooks onto the garden. There's a triple wardrobe in there. Come back out. There's an airing cupboard straight ahead with a hot water tank. That was changed a couple of years ago to a stainless steel one, slightly bigger than the average one, so plenty of hot water. So this is the bedroom two, I would guess you call this. Some drawers, bookcase, give you an idea of size. It's a double bed. And that's where the desk that's in bedroom four used to be. It's made its way into there. And again, we have a triple wardrobe. 
show you that so you can see the space we've got there we go okay move on back onto the landing bedroom okay so obviously this is a king size bed so you can see the sort of room we've got in here there's a table this looks onto the front of the house as well not much going on out there so you can see again we've got the triple wardrobe in here and then we have an ensuite. And it's quite a big shower, electric shower. I'll just show you that. Okay. Sink. And that's about it, size wise. So what I will just show you is, go back down, you can see how we utilise that decking in the evening or daytime, depending on the weather. So I'll put the light on so we can see, there you go. So this has now become a room, so if we use this for parties and people come around okay gives you an idea of what we can do in here so this is quite a big table as you can see so you can see quite a few people it's got a heater in there so it keeps it nice and warm in here they're all individually operated these roller shutters as is the roof so you can just open let me just get the control for you grab that one there for instance so number three there's that shutter there so you can see we got a bit of we've got some light slots inside there so you can actually just about see through the garden and lets a bit of light in as does the corners and if you wanted to you can just have that one open and sit down on the settee and chill out and that's about it thanks for watching